Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. team is out on the field. And so it'll be a touchback ball spotted at the 25. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense will be the first up today. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Boy, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Yeah, he said, here's second down. Looking to throw. It's back. Pass not complete, but there was a lot of contact there, and here comes a late flag. That penalty would be a coaching point in position meetings this week. I'm sure that player is going to get an earful from the coach. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Handoff here from the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Hit as he releases it. And the pass ball is incomplete. Well, I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. And the defense is able to... Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. And tackled after a small pickup there. Takes the seventh play of a good-looking opening drive, but it's third down now. And now they run the draw play. He shreds the tackle. Tackle, but first down. Chris, it's only in this football game, but the defense had a golden opportunity to come up with a stop, and they allow him to run the football on him to get the first down, and now it's first and goal. Missed a golden opportunity. Let's see how they respond here. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Chris, down here inside the 10-yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What an opening drive by this offense, and especially this running back. Every single time they gave him the ball, he's getting positive yards behind that big offensive line. And if I'm the defense coordinator, you better make some adjustments and do it in a hurry. you got to get more guys committed to the line of scrimmage to stop this run game. And now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open the score. The kickoff team on the field now is going get set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Scott. And they tackle him at the 8. The offense starts backed up on this possession. 
the Tigers offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And here we go. The other half of this running back matchup we've been looking forward to. Kirk. Both guys come in rested, fresh, and very motivated. How great is this, Chris? Usually in this era, it's about the quarterbacks and the receivers and getting the ball out in space. And in this matchup, we got two of the best running backs in the country going head-to-head. -head. Chris, the defense dials up the blitz. They're unable to get into the backfield, giving the running back enough room. I'll tell you, the linebacker makes a great play just to come up with a tackle here. The quarterback keeps it on the option. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. The quarterback did all he could here to wait until the last possible moment, but he waits just a hair too long, which allows the defense to actually hit him as he throws the ball. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Third down coming up. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped into the field. We're ready now for the second period. First play of the quarter is a crucial one. Offense trying to convert this third down. Hand it off for a draw. Picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. Well, Chris, to me, the defense looks like they're dropping back in zone coverage, worried about a pass play here on third down. Instead, the offense elects to run the ball, catches them off guard, and it's good enough for a first down. On the run, it's ETN. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. It's caught downfield. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. Now, when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive, how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Second down here, time for one more play before the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. The offense will take their first time out of the half. The top strategy here. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Looking to pass. It's back. Let's it go quickly. And that one's picked off. What a play. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Fresh set it down for the offense. First down. Linebackers making some adjustments now. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle made after a big game. One play and they're already past the 40. First and 10. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Coleman and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. First down and 10. There's the snap, quarterback setting up the throw. Nowhere to go here and the ball is knocked loose. The defense recovers the fumble. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there and they were able to knock it loose. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. Incompletion makes it second down. 
boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception on the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. See what the call is on first and ten. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's ETN. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Georgia now operating in the red zone. Looking for six. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. And these are the kind of situations you practice every week. You got to be able to get a yard. And the offensive line was able to give them just enough push to convert here on the ground. Clearly, they've done this drill before countless times, and it shows. Dogs looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Dogs! And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. He may go for a third or a fourth later today. And with the PAT, they take a 14-0 lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, but we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee to bring the football out to the 25-yard line. And the armored offense back out on the field. Backed up this close to the end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. Caught on the outside. It's Burton. And he's shoved out of bounds by the defense short of the first down marker. That completion makes it second in medium. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Dropping back, it's Thorn. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. And the quarterback dropping back. Gets made on the out route. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass off. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is. The ball is picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. And that's a solid return after the interception. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. First down, looking to throw the ball. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it at the 34. And that one is no good. And the lead remains at 14 after the miss. Georgia, 14, Auburn, 0. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Man, all the tradition and bad blood between these programs. It's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in this battle between the Tigers and Dogs. And I get it. 
A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Hold on, to kick this away. Begin the second half. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Auburn offense trots back onto the field. The first job here, protect the football. Turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions. Breaking free at the 35. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. One play moves the ball to the 41. It'll be first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Second down play coming up for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. Close to the tight end. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Now the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for bigger. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Ball lands at the eight and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. He stalled and then missed a field goal. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big game. And they'll go right back to him on first down. You bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Hand off to the back. They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And that run produces a decent game. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. George has moved into the red zone. Looking for a gap, it's ETN. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. They'll take a timeout where they check it out. After missing a field goal on their last drive, they got to produce something here in third down to even get into field goal range. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, what a job by the offensive coordinator going to that five wide receiver set, creating the one-on-one -on -one matchups, finding the most favorable matchup, and then going to that receiver for the score. And the extra point goes up and good. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. Let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. 
And now they'll run it on the draw. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now, entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. An important third down attempt for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught near the sticks. That's Burton. That's good for a first down near the 40. A new set of downs after that completion. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. Hey, this offense isn't giving up. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter. You're down big. But who knows? Make a big play and try to get in the end zone. Maybe get an onside kick. Nice grab. It's Burton. And they've got him down at the three. Big gain on that completion. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. Looking to throw again. Launching one to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Second down here. Time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. To throw. It's Thorne. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, Makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. And looks like the hands team are able to recover the football. The defense with more pre-snap movement. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you'd have to believe we'd see a timeout. And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Well, no surprise here. They're already two for two on fourth down. Got to make it three for three here. Finds this receiver. That's enough for the first down. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Using his legs, it's ETN. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no game. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Second down play coming up. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Breaks clear over the middle. Can they catch him? And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. Let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. They all played a key role in that score. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Auburn offense is back out on the field. This thing is so out of hand, all you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. 
This line getting set up. It's a first down play. To throw. It's Thorne. Bringing pressure. Throw to the sideline. Steps out after a short gate. First now that we're in the final couple minutes of this game, it's a good time to just kind of step back and appreciate the job this defense has done throughout the entire game. They've applied pressure. They've been physical with the line of scrimmage. Good job in space. And a big part of the reason that they have such a big lead today. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And the pass is incomplete. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. He's got it for a big game. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Coleman. He's brought down quickly. A short game gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Pass complete. It's second down now. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Let's it go. He fires this throw. It is intercepted. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. But let's be honest, all wins are not equal. You go in there and hammer your rival and get bragging rights. That's sweet, man. Yeah, this one is a little bit different. I mean, this is a game you anticipate, you look forward to the entire offseason. You're thinking about it. Now you get a big win against your rival. You're riding that high much longer than your standard win. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.